So welcome to this gemstone reading and how does it get better? Um, I, I have no idea where we're going to go today. It's, mm -hmm. this is an adventure. Um, I figure I'll just start with a little bit about me. My name is Julie Tootin. I'm an artist for my entire life and also a certified facilitator of access consciousness for about 19 years. And it's interesting combining the two energies, like how similar they are. And it, it took me many years of working with access consciousness and gaining my vocabulary of energy to be able to speak to what I've always been aware of with gemstones, gold, precious metals, um, and other energies that we can play with to expand our lives. I grew up on the East Coast of the United States in Boston, and I always, always loved gems and crystals. I used to like take hikes and look for them. And in their natural form, they may look like nothing, but when they're cracked mm -hmm. open, there's this beautiful, amazing sparkle within. And this is very much how we are as people. <laughs> we start off like with this amazing sparkle. And then we start to cover it over with crap, <laughs> judgments and things that we learn throughout our lives of how you're supposed to fit into this world. And uh, it doesn't really work for us. And, and that shell is a, is a thin veneer to what's actually underneath. And so in playing with art, paintings, making jewelry over the last 30, 30 plus years in my business, I was always looking to inspire people to get to that deeper sparkle within mm -hmm. and bring it out, whether it was a painting for your wall that you look at that, you know, invokes that energy, or I created these little stones that were pocket stones called magic stones, and they had all kinds of words and affirmations which I paired with images to create things to inspire you to choose those. People used to call them worry stones. And I was like, no, 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 they're not worry stones. They're the opposite of a worry stone because you're, you're focusing on and bringing towards you the word so that you can uh, be that more in the world. So whether it's friends or magic or possibilities or imagine, believe, whatever, so those went viral back in the late 90s when my daughter was born. And I sold them all over the world. They were amazing. It got onto the Oprah show. And that really launched um, this, this dream that I had ever since I was in high school or even before to inspire the world, to choose greater, to sparkle more, to be more, to you know invite that energy out just like the gemstones um mm -hmm. and let's see so playing with that and playing with jewelry and and finding access giving me the ability to match words to the energy that was one of the things that gary douglas founder of access inspired in me so much his ability to match words to energy and his ability to just speak to the energy. And for me, I, I learned to think twice before you speak once. Oh my gosh, that puts you right in your head and into judgment of, am I saying this right? Am I saying this wrong? You know, <laughs> just a constant spiral of self-criticism. I'm actually going to be creating a call of uh, firing the inner critic. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, so playing yeah. with gems and learning, uh, learning about their properties and, and how to match them with people over the years, having a retail boutique, people would come to me and, and, you know, want something for a wedding or for a birthday gift or for whatever. 
or they were going through something. Maybe they lost a child. Maybe they were getting married. Maybe they were getting divorced. And all of these different things brought up certain energies. And in my head, I'd have this vision of a piece that I made or something to be made. Mm. Um, I, I really didn't think anything of it. I was just like, oh, this, oh, try this on, try that on. And what happened is as soon as they try on the piece, they're, they'd look at it and go, well, I don't know, but they'd try it on and their whole body would change like physically. And, and that inner sparkle would start to shine through. And they're like, oh my gosh, they had no idea that a piece of jewelry could change their energy. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I started to explore this more and more. I've done some podcasts and interviews and some really cool information came through about um, why we wear gemstones and, and what's the value of wearing something large, small, whatever it is, silver, gold, why do you want to add these things to your life? And it's, to me, it's sort of like spices on food. You know, you can have, you know, a plain piece of toast. (laughs) Yeah. Pair it, but you know, you add a little salt or you add some paprika or you add some cinnamon or whatever, and it changes it. And this is what I perceive jewelry does. It it adds these different spices or energies to your body, which creates something different in your life and your future. And I've had so many stories of people that came to me and you know, had something going on and I suggested a necklace or some earrings or something. And, and they would just tell me how it really did change. They, they didn't believe it. They were skeptical, but they saw how it actually changed things that were going on for them. I even had a lady who was going through a divorce and she had this uh, Labradorite necklace and Labradorite is for balance and protection. And she said, she was having a particularly stressful, contractive uh, time one night. And she just took the necklace and like, just laid it on her chest and breathed. And she said, oh my gosh, I just felt so much better. So we don't have to do that. We can actually wear it and have the energy continually contributing. Oh, there's a cattail. <laughs> you really did call a kitten. <laughs> Here, kittens. Yes. Um, it's JD. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, JD, you're so funny. <laughs> That's adorable. I love cats. Same. So, thanks Same. for coming, Kitty. Um, and welcome for the people who are joining. I know we had a lot of people sign up and there was some confusion of the time. So thank you for showing up. And if you're just watching in the future, hello, welcome. Um, this is uh, unscripted, so we'll see where we go. Uh, let's see. So some of the other information that came through in one of my interviews was about um, like kings and queens and how they wear these crowns and these huge jewels, huge necklaces. And and somebody was asking me, like, why do you suppose they did that? And and What came to me as an awareness was when you're, when you're stepping up your being and you are leading a country, Mm. you need extra energetic contribution. So, Ah. so they wear these huge necklaces and crowns and things to contribute to what they are being Mm. for the people and the world. And you know, we don't need to wear something that large necessarily. Even <laughs> these little sprinkles are just super nice and calming um, or energizing, depending on the blend that you that you choose for the day. But they really do, they really do contribute. And you know, there is no rightness or wrongness in it. If you're drawn to something, it's usually something that your body would enjoy and something that would contribute to you. It's not a mental heading to figure out uh, what, um, like what thing to wear or what you should get. It's, 
usually very intuitive. People find that they are drawn to certain colors or certain stones. And I say, just go for it. Uh, let's see. Are there any questions yet? You can unmute yourself and ask if you like. Hi, Julie. Hi. I, I just actually had a comment about um, an experience that I had and a friend and a friend of mine and I went to New Mexico on a trip and we had gone into a store and, uh, was looking at some jewelry and we both liked this one necklace. And so I tried it on. And it was like, well, it looked nice on me and I liked it. And then my friend tried it on. And when she tried it on, you know, I could just see it was her necklace. Yeah. I mean, the way it, she transformed, the way the piece transformed, it was nice on me. It was okay. But yeah. when she put it on, it was like magic. Yeah. You know, and, and so I've kind of used that as a guide for me too. And, and like, and I also notice that I tend to um, gravitate towards silver more than gold. I wear gold, but it's always kind of a, yeah, yeah, you know, it's kind of nice and that, but silver seems to become here again, like part of me or I and silver meld or something. And I just thought I'd and All it, right. So let's talk about the difference between silver and gold. Because they're 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 both fine metals and it's it's personal preference, but there's also a different subtle energetic uh, difference to them. So silver is uh, more about removing negative energy. So if you've ever had silver jewelry and you're around a lot of negative energy, it tends to tarnish faster. And I just say that when it tarnishes, that's because it's doing its job. So I had a, a doctor client who loved turquoise and she wore turquoise and silver and she said it was always getting tarnished and she worked in a hospital. And so I said, well, what if you did turquoise and gold? What would that create? How would that change? How would that add to the energy of your body? And I, I made this necklace for her. I restrung some turquoise beads and added, added gold, added pyrite with gold over it, just some subtle sprinkles. And she came in a few weeks later and said that it was amazing. And it just, it left her so much more energized at the end of the day. Now, gold is the energy of happiness, wealth, abundance. It's just different. And Gold always shines, no matter where it is, it does not tarnish. It, it actually does not take on those negative energies. So attuning ourselves to gold allows us to never buy anything that is not true as true. And notice how it's like, oh yeah, what is that doing? <laughs> Whoa. So like, what if you always knew that you were this sparkly being underneath, you know, whatever you believe you are as this person in this life, the daughter, the mother, the sister, the whatever, you're actually this sparkly being. And, and if you were to attune yourself to gold, what would that create? And how much more joy, wealth, abundance, would you be and attract? Mm. Yeah, and it's just a choice. And for you and your coloring, you might look great with rose gold. Have you ever tried rose gold? No. Uh, not in jewelry. Yeah, I have rose gold and some other things, but not, not in jewelry. I don't think. If I do, it's, um, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't, it, nothing pops um, for me. And it seems like more of my gold that I feel comfortable wearing is in rings. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I used to wear all the time was a, a, a diamond pendant. Um, and yeah, so. Well, I'll just show you this ring that I have here. It's it's rose gold. Oh it's yeah, obsidian. And um, it's just pretty. What's the stone? Pink obsidian. Okay. It's a volcanic stone. Wow, I don't think I've heard because um, I have obsidian. Well, I have obsidian in. I have an obsidian wand and things like that, but I haven't seen pink obsidian. I've had other obsidians. Wow. That's pretty amazing. It's actually really beautiful. Yeah, it's a sweet piece. And this is actually sterling and then dipped in rose gold. So it's not solid gold and it's therefore not that expensive. So when you have a mixed metal like that, Mm -hmm. What what metal is more dominant? Well, they both contribute. It's it's like a soup, not a salad. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I love that the that description: soup and salad. Salad, all the in all the ingredients are individual. Soup, it's all blended together. Okay. So it's a soup. So you get them, you get them all. <laughs> and so it's pink obsidian, Julie in the middle, and then what around the edges? These are cubit zirconia, although it could be uh, diamonds. Uh, yes. It can be upgraded, but yeah. it's That's just beautiful. super pretty and it's that antique style that I love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I also do, um, I also do things like, like these earrings that I'm wearing. I do these in rose gold. This happens to be sterling. Yeah. Yeah. With a little bit what's, of gold. What's the difference between rose gold and gold? Rose gold, gold has is different some gold. Copper. <laughs> yeah. Rose gold has some copper in it for the pink. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've been drawn to the rose gold a lot, just as yeah. a color. So yeah. Yeah, I love gold, but yeah, I've been drawn to the rose gold. And if you've ever known, um, like if you've had some tulips and they start to wilt and you throw a penny in the water, they yep. stand up. So that's the mm-hmm. copper, the element of mm-hmm. copper. So our bodies like that too. So, you know, and mixing it in the gold, it keeps it from tarnishing because it's gold and gold mm-hmm. doesn't tarnish. So you're not going to get a green finger. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to have it tarnish. Yeah. It's blended and, with gold. And so what's copper's property? What's, it's not really a gemstone, but it's a... Wow. You, nobody's asked me that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm getting vitality. Ah. Vitality. Okay. Yeah. And it's like almost like opening up your circulation. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Wee, it's a fun energy. Like when, when I think about it, I like perceive the energy and my body starts tingling with that energy. It's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's different. <clears throat> I like that. It's different. You know, it stands out. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. More questions. Cindy, you got anything? Yeah, well, it's interesting that you're talking about gold because I just, I got these, I've been wanting some hoop, really like big hoop earring, like gold earrings. And so I went and I found some, I mean, they're they're big, nice size, but every time I, I mean, I love, I mean, look, it just makes my body ah, so excited when I got them, put them in my hand, try them on, but I've, I put them on three times already since I've gotten them. And those three times, like it just didn't, 
it didn't feel right. It was like they were too big. Even with this sweater, that it kept, you know, hitting the sweater. So I'm like, no, I really want the sweater. So maybe I'll do some other earrings, which are yours with pearls, which are awesome um, too. Uh, um, <laughs> those are solid gold. I remember those. Yes, I just love these too. They're soft. So, but but it was just interesting. Like it, I almost felt like it was too much. Like there's just this too uh -huh. much sense with the gold. But well, you know, how much would wanna, you have to be <laughs> and receive? <laughs> to wear them yeah and this is the thing yeah, that's like I, I would ask people because they'd gravitate towards you know the little mm -hmm. da -da -da, and I'd mm -hmm. say well, what about this and they're like oh yeah. and so I would ask them what are you stepping into and which piece will create mm -hmm. more energy for that and you know having the gold hoops mm -hmm. just having them it yes. will be it is contributing of you and mm -hmm. you know what can you be how much more can you be mm -hmm. so that wearing it is not an issue? Mm -hmm. And the other day I was, I was just at that boutique doing a little gem show and, um, and I wore it like my big, uh, big Baroque pearl and the Edwardian gold setting with all the diamonds. And, you know, to those people, they probably thought it was faux, <laughs> mm. you know? But it's this big honking piece that's, you know, thousands of dollars and I'm wearing it around my neck just every day. Like it's not a big deal mm -hmm. because I needed that energy that day. I was, mm -hmm. feeling so, you know, a little under the weather and I wanted the contribution. So I wear my diamonds, my gold, my pearls, the big, big guns, so to speak, when I'm not feeling my greatest so even if I'm home in bed resting, I'll put on jewelry. I'll, I'll wear my diamond ring, my pearl and diamond because it contributes. It's not because I'm going out to see people. <laughs> it's because it contributes to me and my body. Yeah. You know, I have had um, an experience I haven't really had an experience like this before actually with all the jewelry I have mm -hmm. I have this one ring which I just went and got to put on uh, my finger I don't know here let's see if you can see it but there yeah. <laughs> and, and uh, it's really kind of unique I, it was a, a designer that I knew in San Francisco and I don't know when this started month ago a couple months ago it it wanted me to start wearing it all the time it's like and i and i don't you know i'm like just working from home but it, it felt like i needed to wear it all the time and yet i haven't been i i go and get it and i put it on but i don't like you're saying you sleep in it and everything it felt oh, no, i don't sleep in it Oh, you don't sleep in it. Okay. If I'm hanging out in bed because I'm not feeling great and I'm being okay. that that I would do. But you know, I wash my hands a lot and everything. And so it just it pre okay. When I think of practicality, it's like what you know, you got your hands too much in it and you shouldn't be wearing, you know, it's gonna be a nuisance. You gotta take it off and dry under all kinds of things. But it's just calling to me and it's like almost internally pulling. Yeah. me to wear it it's like but I don't know why I mean I know it's contributing to me you know you can't wear something like that without it contributing to you and um it's got a tiny sapphire here but this is moonstone yeah. and um and 14 karat gold and I'm like yeah I know I've had preferences you know like oh okay I prefer you know I wear something more often than others, but I've never had something pulling me, telling, you know, asking me, requesting me to wear it all the time. Like it's, <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if you've had something like that or, you know, that the piece is actually asking you. Well, what if you do know and you're listening and sometimes you pay attention and sometimes you don't. If it's pulling you, you're aware. Yeah, it feels like it's, I don't know if I want to say feeding me, but it's like contributing to me. Absolutely. It's contributing to me 
which I know all, you know, my gemstones, crystals, you know, all of that contribute. I'm just not sure why this is pulling me so strongly, you know. Well, hold on. You've said this a few times. Do you have to know why? Or can you just listen and wear it? Well, I have, it's, it's like, um, it's like, like I said, I feel like it's really contributing to me, feeding me. Um, it brings up a lot of love. Um, well, that sounds terrible. I know. Right. Why would I want to wear, wear it all the time? Don't do it. Go against your awareness there. (laughs) We don't, yeah. you know, this is, this is one of the things that Gary Douglas, founder of Access says, is that we're, we'd rather have a hard time than an easy time. Oh. Easy would be, you know, oh, wow, that ring really wants me to wear it. Okay. I'll put it on. Hard mm-hmm. is trying to figure out why and what's going on. <laughs> what should I, and shouldn't I, and the problems with it and, you know, what other people are going to think, and it doesn't make any sense. That's hard. <laughs> who gives a fuck just put the ring on wash your hands take it off don't take it off it doesn't matter <laughs> thank you i needed that believe me so everything that brings up and all the presumptive realities uh, that everybody has about go. wearing jewelry not wearing jewelry and what it's going to do or what it won't do will you destroy and uncreate it Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys, pulvads, and beyonds. And if anybody doesn't know, that's the access consciousness clearing statement. And it just clears out all the crap. (laughs) Mm. Anybody else have questions? Yeah. Well, one of the other things that I've been playing with um it's been percolating for a number of years in in my design brain uh and Mm -hmm. and i've been making a lot of them recently are these uh, circle of manifestation tiaras now the circle of manifestation is one of the actions you just popping in i just have a question what do you think about nigeria that's an emerald too i'm sorry yeah, just pop it in, Matthew. Just pop it in. Just uh, ask a question. That what do you think about Nigeria? That's an element too. I really haven't uh, experienced that before. Oh, for real? Yeah. What do you know about it? Like nothing. This is why I asked that because <laughs> I just heard a lot, lot of things about that. You know that it brings energy, like high power energy and stuff like that. But I'm not sure. Huh? Yeah, I I haven't even heard of it. So all right. All right, noted. Thank you so much. Anyway, okay. Um, so anyway, circle of manifestation is one of the bars points, the access bars points on the head. That's like the yamaka circle, and it clears away all your points of view about how things have to show up so that things can show up magically and easily. And so I've been making these with um, with gold and different gemstone combinations. Here's one. It's labradorite and turquoise and chrysoprase. No, chalcedony. Anyway, um, you just wear it. You you pull your hair up and you put it on, and it activates that circle of manifestation all day instead of just the few minutes that somebody would be running your bars. And this is a really fun thing that I've been playing with recently. People tend to go oh my god i love it i want to wear a tiara and other people like ew god how could you do that <laughs> so it's really fun brings up yeah, a whole project, i guess too <laughs> what no nah, i just said it i don't like that either but i think it's, <laughs> yeah yeah that's it. <laughs> i can make them for men too where they're not so cute and pretty that would be awesome <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I I got, I got one from my mother-in-law's 92nd birthday. It was so adorable. She loved it. She felt like a little princess. It was so cute. I loved them. Yeah. Really, really it's, cute. it's interesting. They really do. I'm wearing one today. Yeah. 
um, they really do stimulate that, that bar to continue to open, 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 open. And so it opens up your receiving of all kinds of things. Um, and I mean, I, I usually suggest to people when they get it to listen to their body and not necessarily wear it every day because it can get intense and maybe give yourself a little bit of a break, but, uh, it's, it's really cool. I'm, I'm excited to see what all the people start to report back. Cause I sold a bunch of them at the global foundation and there's a local store here. They're not even into access anything, but they're like, oh my gosh, manifestation tiara. I'm in it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's a fun thing to be able to just open up a conversation about access bars also. What, what store is that, Julie? Um, it's called The Goods in Mill Valley. Okay. Are you local? Well, I'm in Fremont. Oh, so cool. local kind of <laughs> to you. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. But we yeah. can order, we can order off your site or. Yes. Yes. Yes, I have so many pretties and let's see. Here's another one just to show you a difference. This one is uh, Hessenite garnet and some coral. So they're they're totally different energies and people usually when they're looking at them all, they're like, oh, that one. <laughs> like you get pulled right into the one that wants you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I also do the, a little uh, custom, like a gemstone reading to, to make a custom one for people. So that's possible as well. Um, but like, just to, just to wrap this up, what if you listen to your body? What if your body knew what would contribute to you, to your life, to your ease, to your future? And how much fun could you have wearing gemstones and gold, silver, whatever it is, and just wear it for the fun of it. Not because you have an occasion, not because, you know, you're supposed to, but because it's fun and it adds to your life. That's my favorite. (laughs) Yeah. And it's, it's amazing. Like for me, I, I change my jewelry a lot. I have a lot of different pieces, but when I started making my jewelry to sell, I would get up every day and get dressed and then make a new piece to go with my outfit. So I have a lot of different things and, and I meet people who wear the same diamond studs like every single day or the same hoops Mm -hmm. every single day and they never change it. And it's like, wow, you know, that's fine. You can choose that, but does your body actually enjoy that? Or does it want some variety? Would it bring it more joy, more sparkle? Would the sparkle come out more if you had a few things to change it up with? You know, what is your diet like? Do you eat the same food every single day? Or do you change it up? Do you feel like something different? And what is that? That might be you listening to your body and what would give it joy, pleasure, nourishment. And, you know, that doesn't just come from what you ingest. It comes from what you wear as well. So how much fun can you have listening to that? And one of the, one of the tools for increasing your abundance and access is to have a 10% account, putting away 10% of every dollar that comes in into an honoring of you. And when you turn that into something like gold or jewelry that you can wear, you wear your 10%. It's like you're, you're seeing every day, this valuable thing and you're honoring your body with it, with something that your body loves, that it nourishes, and that is valuable intrinsically and that you could sell if you chose, but it's your 10%, it's your honoring. And, and for me, that's so much fun. I love seeing lots of numbers in my bank account as well, but I also love seeing these things and, and wearing them. So how many ways could you play with your honoring 
and honor your body and create more, more wealth, more joy, more sparkle in the world because you know it's needed out there it really is oh my goodness think of how many people are just bland dry toast (laughs) wanting some beautiful spread on top you know and you can just be that by being in the world and enjoying your body yourself yeah any other questions? Yeah, Ju, just one question just popped myself in here. So what do you think about Ju Monia? I'm just reading through these kind of stones in the internet that I just found. What do, what do you think about that? Tell me the name of it. Um, Jumbonium, if I read it correctly. It's, it, the internet says that it's a very rare and valuable element with atoms big enough to see the seen by naked eye. And I don't know what is that to be exact, but I'm really- I haven't seen that either. You're digging some really interesting information (laughs) on the internet. I am, I am, yes, yes. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. But, you know, the thing is, if these are the things that are attracting your attention, I would say go for it and choose it and see what it it creates. Thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, this weekend is um, an international gem show where I'll be going and buying more raw goods to make my jewelry. Yeah. All right, they're really. They, they have thing. They have people from all over the world that bring tables and tables and tables of oh my God. all kinds of jewels, and it For can be to a lot of people. But I, I really enjoy it, and I might be there. Are you? Yeah, might be. Yeah, where are you located? Canada, Vancouver. Uh huh. Well, this one is in San Francisco. No so problem. Fly down. It's Friday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday. Oh, all right. I think I can make it. I don't know. Let me try. <laughs> yeah. I think see you soon, Drew. Sounds good. Amazing. And um, there was a chat message thank you for joining fiona and there were there were like 40 people who registered so i guess um they couldn't make it on live so the replay will go out and it'll also be on my youtube channel so feel free to share and thank you all for joining how does it get better what can we create with wearing gemstones and sparkling in the world Mm-hmm. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. Thank you for getting up early. <laughs> I'm honored. I'm honored. <laughs> I was worth it. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. This was uh, so much fun and oh. informational. Mute, oh. please. Yes. How does it get better? Do you give any classes in it or? Um, <laughs> That's a really good question. Like what, what could we create? Hmm. Do you, um, do you ever incorporate any of your gemstones into um, your healing sessions? Uh, Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. And actually there's, um, I'll just share a quick story. When I was at a three day body class, last year or the year before I can't remember um I put my jewelry out <clears throat> being one of the hosts um and the jewelry just sat there and sparkled in the in the sunshine all day and then people were looking at it the first day and they were like oh I'm not buying any jewelry I'm like I don't care you know it's just here to <laughs> and the facilitator was Dr. Anthony Mattis okay and uh, the second day, somebody tried on this um, uh, sapphire necklace that I made. I was like, oh, just try this on, you know, just for fun. And her whole body changed and shift instantaneously. And Anthony came over and he said that putting that on her changed more than a day and a half of the body processes. Wow. Was like, that was amazing. I've never seen that before. And so I was like, wow, that's a really cool 
um, acknowledgement of what is possible when somebody's willing to just receive and she didn't have to buy it. Oh, there's a hummingbird out there. So cute. Um, she didn't have to buy it, but it was such a contribution to her body that she wanted it. And it started changing her future. And she ah. said, she got that. And, yeah. and she's like done a whole number of other things since then. And her life is expanding and that's not the only thing, but it was part of the con contributing factors that have opened up what she's able to choose and create. So do you do readings for people on what gemstones are best? I do it all the time. And <laughs> it just, it's just one of those things that comes naturally and instinctively to me. So I was suggesting some rose gold for you. And your elixirs, Julie, too, the one that you made me, the elixirs yes. that, that put together all these different gemstones. Every time I put that on, it really does contribute. And then you did another one for me, actually for my sister. Mm -hmm. And that was really cool too, you know, to do her reading and then put all that together. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just show you, there's a couple here. Um, I do, I do these elixirs like the one that I'm wearing, but um, I do gemstone readings in private for people. And then, and then I create like these, these cool mm -hmm. little elixirs based on the reading. And, and then I create also just general ones. So this one is for healing and abundance. There's magic and miracles. There's lucky and love. So there's these just general ones that I create and they're all one of a kind because all the stones are completely different. You know, like us, we're all different. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> So you can, you can find one that's already made, or you can have one made for you, which is fun. And that's all on your website. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And if you are local, we're doing an expo, um, April 14, 15, 16 called the new living expo. Yeah. You can come sample bars or facelift sessions with a number of us facilitators. And I'll also have um, a, a nice little collection of jewelry for people to play with as well. Okay. So bring your friends. It's going to be fun. I was actually thinking about coming and bringing someone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be great. I'm excited. All right, everybody, thank you so much for showing up and for your questions. And I'll do this again. It's really fun to have a nice group and, and you know, particular questions from people that I can suggest certain gemstones and what have you. So um, you can join my email list or just um, watch out on Instagram or Facebook. And, and you will, when the next meeting will be? Um, the next meeting for a gemstone thing? or Because yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, I have lots of events. Check my, check my website, julietootenenergy.com well, and go to the yeah. events page. There's a whole bunch of things coming up. And Thank you so much. On a variety of subjects. Yeah. And right. thanks for coming. See you guys. Right, thank you so much. See you. Thanks.